What would be really useful is if we could differentiate equations where we didn't have y is equal to uh, a function of x, for example, where we could differentiate things like x squared plus y squared equals 1. So circles. So we could find the gradient function of circles or the gradient function of ellipses or hyperbolas or be able to differentiate e to the x plus y squared plus sine x equals 2, for example. We're severely limited by the fact that we need to have y equals a function of x in order to differentiate it. And so we need to understand what we mean when we look at what are known as implicit equations and explicit equations. Now, in the majority, the equations that you're used to will be known as explicit equations. So, equations where you have y is equal to some function of x. So, e to the x, for example, or y is equal to 2x squared plus 3, or y is equal to e to the x minus sine x. So, we could have a couple of functions of x, but it's still y is equal to uh, some functions of x. So y is explicitly stated in terms of x. Here's another one, y is equal to 3x plus 2. Okay? So in each of these cases, we have y is equal to an explicit function of x. Implicit equations would look something like this. So as I said, x squared plus y squared equals 1. This is an implicit equation because we don't have y or x, for that matter, explicitly stated as a function of the other variable. We could also take one of these equations and just rearrange it. We could have, uh, for that second one, y minus 3 is equal to 2x squared. Okay? They're the same equation, but this is in an explicit form. And this one is in an implicit form. So in a similar way, I could have things like um, e to the 2x minus sine y plus 2 is equal to 3x to the 10. Okay, That's another implicit equation. And you can come up with all sorts of horrible looking things. y is equal to 3x plus 2. I could write that as minus 3x plus y minus 2 is 0. And I've written it in an implicit way. So this whole section is going to be about figuring out a way of differentiating things like this. Okay? And by the end of this section, you'll be able to differentiate all of these. So it's really going to extend your ability and your toolkit to enable you to deal with situations where you won't have equations written explicitly, where we're going to have to be dealing with ones that are written implicitly like this.